Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. One of the biggest surprises of 2022 was the collaboration between Hasbro and LEGO that produced the Optimus Prime set. Now the story continues and the second character from the Transformers universe is here, the 10338 Bumblebee. We had the opportunity to see the newly completed model last September at LEGO Fan Media Days in Billund, Denmark. It still had a few prototype pieces and no prints, but we were able to talk to Samuel Johnson, the designer, about it, so I can share a few interesting things with you now. The box is similar to the previous one, quite tall, with Bumblebee in robot mode on the front and the hint that he can be converted. The back of the box gives a little insight into the process itself, a few details about the build and the dimensions. Let's open it. The set has 950 pieces, the price is 90 euros or dollars and it will be available to LEGO insiders from the 1st of July. You can find all local prices at the link below. We get 10 numbered bags, the instructions and a rather small sticker sheet. The manual starts with a brief introduction to Bumblebee, then moves on to his abilities and on the next pages we find many of the lifestyle photos from the press pack, along with a few words from the set's designer. And that's it, here's the parts list if you are interested, now let's start building. We'll begin with something we actually have no idea about and it gets pretty complex fairly quickly. These are the new thin 4x4 arch bricks, not the same as on the Kuntash, and now with the wheel arch and lights we have an idea of what we've just built in phase 1. With back 2, we build the other side and then comes a brand new flex joint element that allows the torso to fold up and connect to the legs when you convert it to vehicle mode. This is what the full assembly looks like when everything is clicked into place. Here are the two legs with printed tiles and now it's time to assemble everything we've built so far. In back 4 we continue to build very specific things without having any idea of the end result, well this looks like a part of the torso maybe. I'm adding another section with joints and here's a major transformation step during the construction. You have to be very careful how you handle the parts because folding these big new joints requires a considerable amount of force. More hinged parts, then we start detailing the cabin section. Here I have an interesting decision to make, I can either use a plain yellow 2x2 tile or the one with the Autobot logo, I will obviously go for this one. This will be one of the arms, but there are still a lot of open stud connections, this one is another section, snap together and suddenly we've got two of them, two clicks, and here's a little preview of some pretty cool details that I will show you later. Minifigure Viking X heads, new in yellow, and after a few more pieces and two printed elements, suddenly this becomes a very cool and accurate head for Bumblebee, and it goes here. Here comes the rear part with the spare wheel, then we use almost all our stickers in one step, here they are on the bumper, we put the whole assembly in place, that's a bit tricky, and then we can choose between two license plates, I will take this one. Here comes one of the doors, but it's also double hinged, then we can choose again whether we want to place the Autobot logo here. This is quite a tricky connection with the robot arm parts, the first one was easy but the second one is difficult to fit. Now we close the front part with more hinged elements, I probably shouldn't say this anymore, but almost everything here is hinged in some way, such as the front bumper. The last bag has the windows and here's a tiny printed B piece as an air freshener, the assembly goes here. We still need to add some small tires, then the big ones on cool white rims. We are almost at the end, this is the laser blaster, and the biggest sticker goes on the plug that has a hidden B on the back, the build is done. But the instructions still have many pages to go. Here's a QR code, I assume it shows us the conversion process, but the page isn't live yet. So we've built Bumblebee in vehicle mode, unlike Optimus who was built in robot mode, and now it's time to turn him into a robot. Believe me, it's not an easy feat, there are 25 steps, it's quite a challenging task. Interestingly, Sam has told us that the instructions will contain steps for both types of transformation, from vehicle to robot and from robot to vehicle. I assume they have decided at a later stage to include the second variant in the video instructions, at least I hope so. So let's take a look at Bumblebee in robot mode. I have to say he looks pretty impressive, at least from this angle, with lots of detail. I really like the independent fingers, which is a step up from Optimus, and he's got good articulation. Not everything can be moved in every direction, but there are some poses you can do. They also look very good together, although I expect an endless debate about scale. In the cartoon, Bumblebee was much smaller, but that size obviously wouldn't work in LEGO form. 
I like the size difference, here it looks acceptable to me. In robot mode the windshield turns into a jetpack slash b-wing thing and that's the only part you have to remove and reattach. In the Transformers fan universe this is called parts forming and it's sometimes considered cheating, although it also happens on many plastic toy versions. Thanks to the small tires he's quite stable and actually much harder to break or crash than we've seen with Optimus. The reference to the character comes from the Transformers G1 cartoon, but it's easy to cheat in cartoons like the wheels can suddenly disappear, which is not possible in LEGO form. Therefore, this is not a replica of a specific toy, but a LEGO interpretation of the G1 character. As Sam told us, he built about 50 different versions within a year. Here you can see some earlier design versions with many different details, you can decide which version you prefer. The head also went through a lot of iterations, horns were tested with different parts, even bananas, and there were different expressions and also multiple pieces for the face. From the front it looks great, ok from the side and the structure on the back is not so impressive, but we are talking about a transforming lego robot after all. Do you remember Optimus whose leg stickers were upside down? This one almost had the same fate, as Sam was preparing the 3 d file that would later be used for everything, including the packaging and animations, he realized at the last minute that the decoration was upside down and had to quickly correct it. And now back to vehicle mode. The model rolls, which is great, and you can't actually see any robot parts in this form, impressive. Of course, you can easily expose the innards, but I wouldn't recommend grabbing the vehicle from behind anyway. Otherwise you can pick it up, it's fairly sturdy. Looking at the easter eggs again, we had the B air freshener in the window, then most of the references are at the rear. The iLife Cybertron sticker speaks for itself, there's the rollout catchphrase of Optimus on the other side, with the O coming from the original Bumblebee toy. We have two license plates, this one is a double reference to Bumblebee's name and to the 17th of September 1984, when the original Transformers cartoon first aired. The other has the same date and refers to Goldbug, the new version of Bumblebee that he was later rebuilt into in the story. So yeah, if you were expecting the vehicle version to be a perfect Volkswagen Beetle, you may be disappointed, here is the old creator expert car next to it. There are a lot of visible gaps, especially on the side and rear, but I think there are several things to consider. First of all, the original toy was no better, actually the LEGO version looks more like a Beetle than this one. Second, it's not easy to build a LEGO robot that transforms properly. Despite the many new parts that are introduced every year, there are still many limitations. I think most people will keep the set in robot mode, which is fine, but it's great to know that you can have this form as well. And now for the price. 90 euros or dollars for a license set at this size is pretty impressive. Optimus is twice the price, but not twice the piece count, which makes Bumblebee a pretty good deal. It gets even better when we consider that retailers will be selling it for 70 euros or even less soon after release. So, how to sum it up? I grew up with the G1 Transformers cartoon, so I may be biased but I like the robot form very much and how these two characters look together. I have some concerns about the look of the vehicle mode, though I also understand how much engineering is required to achieve that look. I know, there are mock designers who will surely try to improve it, but don't forget that all this crazy stuff going on here have to follow LEGO's pretty tricky stability and building standards. It may sound controversial, but I think this set is a serious design achievement and if you are into innovative building solutions, then I definitely recommend you build it and study it, but at the same time it might not work well as a LEGO product for the masses. It's not hard to build, but the transformation is complicated and one of the modes looks much better than the other. I have a feeling that a robot that doesn't transform but is more detailed would have been more successful in the long run. But the essence of transformers is the ability to change modes, so we also have to consider this, I think we will hear a lot of different opinions about this set. I will be keeping him in robot form alongside Optimus, that's for sure. And now I can't wait to see some LEGO opponents for them. Please let me know what you think of it, about the robot mode, the vehicle mode, the transformation and which LEGO transformer set you want to see next. Let's talk about it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.